Public. So accounting office and your team are most welcome. As usual, we are here not looking for faults. We are just trying to look at accountability of both resources, human, uh, financial and non-financial. And we request you just to be, to be feel, at, feel at home. It's not a court. Uh, all your answers you feel, but what is important, you tell us the truth. And if there are challenges, tell us and see how we can help to improve the situation. And I would want to thank you for whatever you are doing in the Uganda Art Institute. And we believe that uh, from here, whatever we shall do today will improve the, the situation. Uh, we intend to work so that by one, we should be able to have finished the latest, uh, if it can be. And uh, in that regard is to go to item number four. And uh, do you have a write-up? On this. You have a document? Okay, so you have you got the information late? Hmm? Okay, so I'm going to give you only five minutes to summarize. I don't go beyond five. Summary of the judgment or summary of our side? What you are doing as far as COVID-19 is concerned. The rest, we're going to go to it. Okay. Uh, Put on the microphone. Thank you, Chair. When we got this issue of COVID-19 and the, we got the guidelines from the Ministry of Health, we immediately called the senior st the staff and gave them uh, key recommendations on our preparedness and how we should run the place to be able one to protect the patients two to protect the staff three to ensure that there is a coverage and no continuity, no dislocation of the services because we have patients up, uh, all over the country. So we have to put in place a mechanism of reaching them. Then definitely there are a few modifications on the ground. We had to provide a wider space for patient floor and waiting space in order to observe the social distancing facilities. We had to go in expenses of uh, procurement, of uh, the protective gear, the issues of uh, temperature guns, the sanitation issues, and to rearrange the entire place. Next, we had to revisit our flow of patients. That is for patients who, most of the patients, we had to reschedule a uh, cold surgeries eh, and the, for the beginning deal with the, all the emergencies. Then it, uh, so that one meant uh, rescheduling patients. Next we had to look at the outpatient flow of patients. And there we had to give patients longer uh, appointments eh, and uh, also restock the, the drugs for the longer periods and for patients who who were stable we actually put in a, a system of they reaching us on the phone and then we could guide on restocking of their medicines so we saturated the guidelines to all patients and to all patient points and on the WhatsApp we have a platform which even patients access. So we have a schedule of those ones, of the guidelines that we put in, 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 in the place. Then we had also a challenging issue of the protective gear. In fact, initially 
Pova used what we had and we had to review the whole thing and the guide telling people the PPP arrangements were for patients and for inside patients. Then other outside the issue, let me say patients we had to give near to ordinary masks and things of the, of, of the sort. Now we had to buy things like uh, more tents and uh, we asked for some also and the WHO, WHO I think World Food Program is the one which also sent us some. Now later as we stabilized we had now to reopen up the services and uh, we have quite many patients now coming because now the turn up has even almost doubled as we talk. <coughs> Next uh, is uh, we had to revisit our guidelines for the patients inside and undergoing procedures. For the normal, we undergo screening like uh, things like a temperature gun and uh, but for the patients who are to undergo surgery, for example, or interventions, they had all to under the old must undergo the test for COVID, and the, our staff are also undergoing regular tests for COVID. And as I told you, the real task is to ensure that both staff and the patients are protected. So, by and large, we are moving on well. Thank you very much. You are moving on well. Yes. I want to congratulate you. That you have, the most important is protect the staff yes. and patients. patients. And the most interesting one that you are testing the patients before anything. Yes. yes. And you are and testing our staff on a daily basis. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, we can go now to item number five. Uh, now the Auto General Report of 2018-2019. So, accounting officer, the report is qualified. Yes. What happened? We can I give comments? Yes, yes. On, we are on with you. Yes. So it is uh, qualified, and we agree with the auditor, the, the auditor general. Mm -hmm. The uh, uh, we had challenges on the ground which could not be uh, avoided. First and mm -hmm. foremost, it sounded like a good note. We had a board instituted, but on the other challenge side was that it had no budget. So board was instituted? Yes. And it was functional but it had no budget. Functional? Yes. But had no budget. Had no budget. Yes. So we So now in short you are saying the the report of twenty seventeen eighteen which said there was no board, you have answered it. Yes. In twenty eighteen, twenty nineteen. Yes. There was a query that you had no board. Yes. Now we had a, a board, but it had no budget, but it had to function. So we had to really look the any uh, funds or no account or no allowances, whether for staff or what, to facilitate the board functions, and it was picked as a diversion. Now, two was the, the so was it only the, the board is the one which brought your problem? No, the second area. How much was this? The body aspect was about uh, 76 million. 76 million. Yes. So 76 million brought your problem. No, the second area was, uh, in fact, three areas gave me problems. Mm. One was the board. Two was the super specialized supplies, the sundries. Specialized supplies. The budget was. The budget for the super specialized supplies was n n n not enough for these functions and really that is a gross a, a perennial problem so we had to look elsewhere to ensure that we have the necessary uh, supplies to maintain life what are these detailed specialized supplies and the supplies for open heart surgery things like uh, perfusion surgeries open heart surgeries. surgery and the cardiac authorization interventions mm. Once you take in on a patient, you must provide whatever it takes. So these are sundries? Sundries. 
Where do you buy them? All of them are imported. We have just a, 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 we have a, a company representatives of the major manufacturing. So they are imported all. Just imported? Yes. So that one came to how much? 311 million. Mm -hmm. Then there was a, a, a one. So why didn't you budget for it in the first place? We have, the, the budget they, they have been providing us we could not cover them. You give a budget, but what, whatever comes from the other end, you have no choice. So now, the only thing which has happened, and out of this, in fact, I'm very happy about this audit query because things are now improving. Because right now, they have allowed us to of all our budget, about 37% is specifically for DC uh, sandwiches, because that is the gist of the matter, and that makes the difference between Uganda Art Institute and the rest of the institutions in the country, to be able to, main, to, main, uh, to, uh, to provide for these super specialized supplies. Yes, but before that, uh, we want to deal with it. Yes. Uh, it's now 37 of the budget. 37% eh? of the total budget. For 2020, 2021? Yes. Okay, but that's okay. We shall deal with that. Yes. But now this is 311. Yes. It brought you a problem. It brought me a problem. So what did you divert from? Where did you divert from? I think. No, you can oh, yes. ask your staff to assist you. Don't yes. Your staff. Most of it came from the short contract of short term of, 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 of consultancy. Short term consultancy? Yes. So it means you budgeted for short term consultancies and you never used them? Pardon? You budgeted for short term? Yes. So you got money from short term? Yes. You know, that thing has a, a historical issue and it has been coming up. You know, when we started on the open heart surgery program, there wasn't money in the, anywhere to cater for these specialized supplies. We couldn't that, get that one. Yes. We're gone. yes. We're, so we're, now what happened? We jumped to the step. Yes. So we are now going where you are going. Then before that, we we'll rule on it. Yes. Mm -hmm. You went for short term consultants. Yes. So mm -hmm. and uh, short term consultants it, it was it had been lumped up as the items for handling. Those the, the open heart surgery special challenge, lymph special supplies, but we have now unpacked everything, and the finance has allowed us to populate. No, no. Before you unpack, yes. Initially, you were putting it under short term. Some consultant. So you came and lied Parliament that no. you want to go and do short term consultants eh? while you are aiming to go and buy sandals for open heart. You know, that is why I was giving you the history, the historical of, of, of background. The historical background had been that we didn't have money for most of this short supplies, uh, 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 so when we started channeling out patients, the question came, how do we help you? And at that time, we were given some, some allocation which came, first was 1 billion, then it came to, they added 2, then it came to about 4.5 to cater for the services under that. And it would cater for the supplies, it was pulled, pulled out like a mini project. And later, it has now been regularized and it is now a regular budget. But initially, it was under that, so that it would cater for human resource, which was 30 percent, supplies 60 percent, and the, the operational maintenance of equipment and ensuring that you have the, 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 the utilities, the bills, and maintenance budget, that was taking 10 percent. So it was nursed as a project, but it has now matured. It should be uh, uh, finance has allowed us to unpack it. Dr. Magin Magino? Yes. We're going to unpack it later. Yes. But we want to deal it at that particular time. Yes. You came in as short-term consultants. Yes. So it meant you lied the parliament that there will be a consultancy of short-term 
Yet you knew you wanted to use it for specialized sundress. It it was a, like a, a, it was not a, a, a lie in the sense that we used to, to uh, the money no, no, for using, paying you, for you, using it's okay. Yes, you know where I, I think doctor you're not getting us. Yes. Okay, what was sharp? What was short term consultants? Short term that was short term consultants involved. Ah, uh, it 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 involved. Uh, that, that money involved paying, uh, compensating for the uh, super specialists to be this there. Was compensating? Yes. Compensating? Yes, mm -hmm. for super specialists. Uh, yes, it is like the, the, that is the professional fee to, uh, to pay to ensure that we top up these people's uh, uh, salary. So that one contained, constituted 30% of that money. Two is the super specialized supplies, which constituted 60% of that uh, money and then uh, uh, 60% yes 60 mm. then the remaining 10% was to ensure that this special specialized equipment was maintained and uh, we had an inter uninterrupted power supply and water supply so to be able to carry out these super specialized limbs, these open heart surgeries, which had not been catered for in the normal budget. So we packaged it as a consultant, a short up consultant, and it helped us navigate. Now, if we left the money under normally just either allowances or all the other things, it was not protected and would just be cut by what it, for, uh, budgetary cuts. Yeah, Doctor, now let us start. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, okay. yes. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, doctor and Accounting Officer, I would imagine that uh, your specialty as part of the Heart Institute is to ensure that your patients are taken care of. Yes. To begin with, surgery yes. is uh, one priority that you handle there. Yes. How come now that surgery, which is one of your priorities, is the one that was being left out? Uh, being left out because you are not having uh, as you've said specialized supplies to help you manage that very critical aspect which makes heart institute rise and shine yes. so it is the one that was being left out and then now uh, consultancies is where you diverted money to get specialized uh, facilities are you trying to insinuate that you have areas now on the side of consultants no, we don't have areas on the side of cons of consultants. You know, if we had managed this thing the way the normal out uh, normal government or other hospitals are funded, we wouldn't be having a, a service of this level. It was we had to present this, and actually, it was just given as. A, uh, in fact, the initial money was picked from other votes by Parliament and the Ministry to help us start and sustainably run this service. The experiment has worked. Now is the way forward, and that is why we are telling you that instead now, if you looked at our consultants' uh, budget, it has gone low because it is now only going to cater for the professional uh, 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 compensation for the super specialists until our new structure is approved and the absorbs that then that consultancy will be ex expanded from the what the system mm -hmm. i'm telling you the truth and that is how this we have managed uh, uh, to run this dr magno yes uh, do do dr magno and uh, mm -hmm. have some coffee and water and they tell your staff to start eating start with yourself Get some sumbu, so Accounting officer. Yes. I think we would make this meeting shorter. Yes. Uh, with the, the very good explanations you're giving, yes. supported by documentary evidence. Yes. Uh, one would do, would do request but to find out. No, that's yours. The, this that, <laughs> that, that's yours and me. Okay, that's yours with me. Yes. Okay, thank and, you very uh, much. The procurement officer. Yes. This is for the doctor Latovo. And the others. 
Okay. Yes, accounting officer, I was saying would make this meeting shorter yes. with a good explanation you're giving, yes. uh, supported by evidence uh, that you're laying on table. For these diversions that you, you made, yes. which to you were very genuine, yes. uh, did you get clearance from uh, PSST secretary? I think a uh, very good one. One, did you get PSST clearance? That's number one. Two, huh? you have uh, given us the figures. That's why I want to thank uh, Frederick. Do you have areas on, uh, on what? On specialized consultants? You said no. So it means when you are budgeting, you say if I lie, I tell Parliament that these are consultants, quickly they will accept. You forgot we have a dog which comes to confirm. So the dog came and they discovered you diverted. Mm. So that's where we are coming and now we are going to really go through this one by one to confirm where you erred, and uh, so that we hold you liable very well. So we start with 30%. Did you pay the consultant the 30%? Yes. The 60%. Did you pay the supplies uh, for 60%? Yes. The 10%. Did you pay water maintenance and from 10%? No, So now, so then if this was how you had budgeted, what, what happened? Why did the water general raise it? Because for you, you had to put some short counters like this, naming it like this. So in why fact, was it coming up? In fact, that is it. Let me put this one down. That's yours. Oh, sorry. Let me put so it down. You know, in we, we, don't talk <laughs> all, yes. we, we talk while eating. So in Uganda. Yes. Now, the, the, the issue is, in fact, this particular year, this audit had two separate audits. There was the, the money, is it the regular report and value for money audit, which we went through up to the exit meeting. Then there was also alongside the value. No financial, uh, fi financial audit. The there was the financial, then the value for money. So we went through the regular one. Then the value for money came as it was a separate one. We didn't have a normal exit meeting. But their report found the, it went to the Auditor General's office after we had done the formal exit meeting. And it is the one, the one which actually brought out or uh, took these ones as di diversions. In fact, even they added the third one, which we wanted to. We had it. Uh, we use oxygen so much, and we buy oxygen. We buy oxygen, but then we had to replenish our oxygen cylinders. We bought oxygen cylinders, which are an asset, which you keep refilling. But it was also included. It as a part of, it was, they, they didn't take it as an asset, they took it on the side of the nine, what is Oh, you bought cylinders? Yes. Uh, which we refill? Oh, will you keep for refilling? No, no, you, uh, we understand. Yes. So did, did you use money for assets to buy cylinders? No, we use the money for, uh, the money for development uh -huh. to buy assets. Oh, those cylinders, uh, to yes. Buy, yes. Uh -huh. But the audit, uh, the, the uh, value for money audit, Disagreed. That a cylinder is not an asset. Uh, it is not an asset. So we said, uh, you sustain it. And we are here you have the it. report. We have the report. No, no, I think what you do for us to be able to move. Yes. Get that report now. Yes. Because we need to find out. A cylinder is an asset. It is an asset. That's one we, we, have, to, we have to agree with Dr. General. But also, no. what maybe? No, the auditor general was saying he was saying it was a, a it was a, a consumable a cylinder. A, a cylinder, and for us, we are saying let us no, get no, no, back no, no, to no, what no, it. No, no, no.
No, it's not an asset. If uh, no, but now if we yeah, the gas. Well, maybe you, you showed them gas. No, how do you show oxygen? <laughs> <laughs> how do you show? So now what happened? <laughs> if you get the three items packed, that is the body expenses, is the super specialized supplies, and that issued the oxygen cylinders. It removes us. It, it makes the diverted the fund less than far less than two percent of the total budget, which was the yardstick no, for we, qualification. We are, we are going to reach there. Yes, Doctor Mag uh, Oma Omageno. Omageno. Yes. And I will refer for refer it as Doctor Ed. You see, oh oh. Hmm. Oh, oh, I found you from Tororo. Oh, oh, Tororo. Are you from Tororo? No, no, my placenta was buried in Palisa. <laughs> but that's Bukedi. Yes, that is the mother Bukedi. Okay. Mm. So, so what we, we are, are going to do, we have discovered you diverted. What we want to do here in this matter, if you want us to drop this amount, this value, this item, what else did you divert on? You said oxygen. The third one was oxygen. Oxygen still in does. Two is the body expenses. Three is the uh, the sundries. Now, hmm? what are sundries? And these are the supplies for open heart surgery. But this one we've discussed. Yes. So the other capital development, other capital expenditures, this is covered. The feasibility study and the environmental impact assessment. Now. Just give me a, a minute just also to explain this. Our big problem has been space for the Uganda Heart Institute. We need a home, a standalone home. We did, the, we did all our side of the technical side and we got the, the, uh, the project developed up the final stages. It was dropped. Then the wind came recently. In that, uh, yeah, and the National Planning Authority picked the interest in it, and the government picked the interest in it. So we had to redo it, it again because time had lapsed. So we had to do the feasibility study, which was eventually cleared. And while they were clearing, they said that you must make sure that uh, the environmental impact assessment certificate you have it. They gave us conditionalities, which to us, as the heart Institute and the people of Uganda accessing the, the biggest bottleneck is space. We need a home. So I have the pleasure to play before Parliament of the, the committee a copy of the feasibility study which was duly passed with its instructions, which said you must have a certificate of. So we had to process all of that, and we, all of them are now here and now. You, in the you, see, you, you put even the instructions. Pardon? Where are the instructions? Yes, they are here. Don't leave anything. They are all here. And uh -huh, the instructions came from where? From the PSST. Himself? Yes. Then where have you got clearance, uh, doctor? Pardon? Where have you got clearance? You see, you spent money. Yes. Why haven't you got clearance on those expenditures? That's how argument we're putting across to you. First, you have no, have we have listened to you, yes. they have given you there, yes. you have no clearance, they have allowed you to go ahead. That means they allowed you to charge you out your budget. You should get now them to say, move money from this budget line to this budget what? line. So, then the board expense, board yes. or bond? It is the board. Board. Yes, well, the, the board of one. directors. But you have said oxygen cylinder. Is uh, there another thing called bond or board? It is a, no, it is a body. So this one was the first one. Yes, the, name the board. Now, even for that one, instead of them accepting the other way around, the next financial year, which is this one we have just completed, mm. they reacted by giving us a budget line and the a budget. budget for the board. So even they have solved that one to not come back to it again. We'll solve one and one. Yes. Cylinders were assets. Yes. Capital development. Now, you have not finished the question. Can we have uh, on what you spent so yes. that we deal with this diversion? Because you said 
There was a value for money audit report. Where is it? BFM audit report. Which brought this? Is there? You said there was another audit. There was. This. So where is it? Don't you have a staff to call? All the staff are here. Okay. We shall get the value. But the auditor general's office is around. No, no, no. Really? Those are. Instead, that those are no longer yours. Those are ours. Okay, that was an apology. So we're waiting for the value for money. Yes. Audit what? Report. Audit report. We need it today before close of business. Mm -hmm. We we have not got. Get us the date. The board was was inaugurated. Eh? When they, when they report. do you have it? In fact, we, oh. oh, oh. Like I, I no the, the issues I while I was thinking trying to think through a, a, ahead, but I just came up with just copies of their renewal now, because now the, That's that okay. was the time. But now, now you see, and these are things you should have put across. But this is in May now. These minutes. are renew uh, renew. The, the thing is, uh, we, do, uh, we shall also uh, send uh, copies of their first the appointment. First appointment. Yes, the first appointment. And, uh, okay. 2017. Yes. But 2017, it means they were there. Why is there, didn't you budget for it? I wish hmm? I was. I belong to the other side. <laughs> Anyway, now we are. We have a nice budget for them. Okay. Well, so we, this uh, the date of inauguration of the because you said it wasn't there. We have seen appointments. Yes, but we have a, a, a file going through the inauguration, going through. Okay. The when they they reported anyway. Yes. June 2017. So that means 20, 2018, 2019. Oh, okay, June 20. So that is 17, 18. That is for financial year. 17, 18. Yes. That means at that time you should have budgeted for them. We tried to budget, but it was not picked. <laughs> so we end up with no what, eh? budget, but where, we had what? Where, where, was, where did you pick the money from? And that's allowance. from allowances. Oh, from allowances. Yes. And you're also paying them allowances. Yes, you have to retain. You have to give them a retainer okay. and to pay for the bill. But I think a fifty-fifty. Uh, juggling to make sure that the place. Okay, allowances. I use. I think that's okay. We have understood that. You use the allowances. Yes. Of staff, yes, to pay the staff board members. Yes, that's what you did. <laughs> my my lawyer has come. Now I'm going to work. <laughs> okay, uh, we have dealt with board expenses. Okay. So those are the four categories. Of diversion. Of diversion. Please. So now go ahead. How did you implement the budget? What date was the budget? How did you implement your budget? Now the implementation. Hey. Hmm? I didn't see the mail. Yes. Mail came. Hmm? Uh -uh, now it is implementation. We are now on the report. Mike, can you introduce yourself? Thank you, Chairman, and uh, honorable colleagues. Good morning, uh, our visitors from the Uganda Heart Institute. Michael Tsime is my name. I am a member of Parliament from Barara City. Michael Tsime. Michael Tsime. Michael Michael, we thank God. Eh? That is some, uh, God is a kid. And it will show you that the God is kid they have given him now a seat is now the MP for the city. <laughs> My lawyer. Yes. 
I am Yagma Wilberforce, member of Parliament, Kashal Nose, and a member of this committee. Thank you. Mm. Okay, the response is we. Eh? We go to page three. You want us to go to page three? Yeah, you take us. COVID is finished, they have done very well. What they have said, they protect patients, they protect the staff. They have increased the tents, they are now back on normal. And they are saying it is now full operational. Well, yeah, well, yeah. We visited your place without your knowledge. I, in fact, I'm happier that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happier that way because I have nothing to worry. Mm -hmm. Now, actually, maybe I could add just a point, a, a something on, on that. We have, uh, we have uh, had to move our services to force Block C to open the completion of blocks, we are now really the one who is pushing it. So, But that's not your block. No, 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 no. It is for Ugandans. Ah, that is not your block. You are even a tenant. Which one? Uh, just a stubborn tenant. On block C. Uh, <laughs> block C of Mulago. Uh, we, are, we have been a tenant of uh, Kansai Institute. Oh, yes, yes. yes. Kansai but Kansai Institute even needs the place, space more than us. So we have re re left the, the space uh -huh. to come and occupy sixth floor, uh, yes, yes, which was sorry. redundant. Mm. And we moved on to that. And you have blocks, even three, is it sixth floor and third floor? In fact, we have ground floor, which is uh, not yet complete. Second floor, which we have now over the weekend populated. Mm -hmm. Even he changed the emergency department to second floor such that patients just flow in from the park to <laughs> they the just emergency. Flow in like what? Yes, <laughs> to ensure. You know, we had the challenge of a lift when we went on the sixth floor. Mm. They had told us the lifts were working and rest, only to switch on, the thing had rusted. <laughs> <laughs> so it was not moving slowly. So even our staff were. <laughs> we were getting stuck. Yes, it's up. So we had to move fast time. <laughs> and now shift most of the emergencies <laughs> to second floor. Now, we need our own home, and that is the issue. And the, I wish everybody was in that. Yes, but the money is not there yet. Don't worry. Yes, the money. Yeah, 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 yeah. We are here. We have land. Oh, me, Mr. Chairman. Oh, there is a lot of Ugandan land. Now the innovation is finished. No. Hmm. The innovation is not finished. We, in, in fact, they are now trying to hand over the lifts to that block. 2C is finished, 2C is finished, 1C is not. We have paid it and we have money reserved on the, what, on the, let me say, yes, money has been already reserved for payment of the full reputation of our intensive care unit. Now that intensive care unit, the forty the twelve beds, those will unlock the full utilization of the operating theater and the cath lab. When that one is opened, we shall move from handling two to three patients a day and the maximum of ten in a week to being able to do ten patients in the combined facility per day and we should be able to hit a total of at least a thousand patients per, per year in that unit. Hey, doctor, do you remember the other twins? Where they, well, that's why I was thinking where the one was growing and the other one was not growing. Yes. Uh, the medication you gave, uh, you gave her, still keeping her waiting for, for operation. Yes. And I'm waiting for my ICU beds, which are going to be handed over September 30th, and we go to that line. By that time, they will have finished that unit. So with those beds of 6th floor, 2C and 1C, we should be able to more than double our output in this area as we await the final home. So it will bridge us for the next two, three years eh, as we construct and equip the full home, which is this. So, so, so now, that is, budget, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, let me finish this one. Because uh, a man, a certain careless man, produced twins and he disappeared. 
Then one was glowing, the other one was not glowing. When I brought to the, the poor mother to him, the, the, ma, the baby was disorganized, they had a, a hole in the valve or something like that. Then the woman was so poor, I had also become broke. This guy paid personally, one, he is 150,000, so you know they do that payment. So he's a good man. So the lawyer you have judged today, yes. I'm not so sure. <laughs> so this, <laughs> this, this, this one is from the lawyer now. <laughs> this one is the local lawyer. <laughs> I, I'm declaring interest. <laughs> okay. Mr. Chairman, you, uh, uh, we determine his goodness in these books. Yes. Yeah. So, so now, <laughs> so now, we got what? Uh, page no, we, three. We want your budget implementation. Yes. And whatever. So we got mm -hmm. uh, to page three, the responses. Mm. Yes, there was the issue of under that under absorption, mm. a total of government. So first of all, did you get your entire budget? Yes. Mm. Let me see. We didn't get the entire mm. budget. <laughs> so number one budget. Yes. You never got the entire budget. Yes. So we did not get the entire budget. So what? What? What was the amount you never got? Let us do it in amount. <coughs> so what was your budget? Your budget was 19. 19. 5.73. Yes. What was uh, your warrants? Warrants came to 18.64. What that means is you had a difference of how much? 3, uh, 15, 900, uh, 930 million. Yes. Okay? Yes. So you never got 930 million? Not get it. Good. So if you never got 930 million, now you had a diversion hmm, of how much? 400 and... No, 500. Yes. Okay. You said the other one was spent on the right things. Yes. Yes. So how much was your diversion? Which you know you agreed that you really diverted. Let us deal with that. It is about one six. One about one sixty two. One sixty million. One sixty two. One sixty million. One sixty million. This was you said this was the diversion. Yes. Which you accept? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now we shall put okay. <laughs> we shall put now the case as we go. Now you will go explain now, go ahead. So there was the issue of uh, and uh, 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 that the government of Uganda appropriated uh, 19.5 billion. Uh, the breakdown. We have it. seen it. Yes. So now the end option is mean is they gave you money in the system. Yes. You only spent little. Little less. Yes. So now what was the end absorption yourself? Yes. So the end ab 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 absorption total to 4.0.472 uh, uh, billion, which is okay. 472. So under absorption? Yes. Now the annual... So let us deal with that, an absorption of 472 million. Yes. Now of this... That means even if we gave you the entire money, you would not have spent it. Huh? Because, first of all, if you are getting 472 and spent, it means even if we gave you 100 million, you would not have spent it. Okay, maybe let us look at the reasons. Okay. Yes. <laughs> because the Reason. of the, the money that had been given, mm. the unutilized salaries amounted to 432 million. Now the actual unspent salaries totaled to 420 due to unfilled staff positions arising from low attraction of super specialists, e.g. Consultant pediatricians, the consultant cardiac surgeons, we couldn't pull through because of low response. Show now, us evidence. Pardon? Yes, personnel will. You see? Yes. We need your evidence. Yes. That you wanted to recruit. Yes. And uh, you tried. Yes. And you never got. Yes, we had lined up that somewhere, but <laughs> no, that one we had gone through. Mr. Chairman, also the evidence, 
that the environment, the Uganda Heart Institute, is conducive to attract people. That's okay. That's what they, they say. Yeah, you, because why? Why? Why do why do they? Why do they want to go there? Yeah, well, of course. The the second one is saying that's the motivation. Mm -hmm. We gave so them. Who shall we give them the on board? Yes. Maybe before we forget, <coughs> how far have you gone with the law? With your law, the law. Mm. We have an act. Mm. Have the sixteen. We passed the act. Yes, and it came in, in uh, operational on the first of October. 2016. So the act was passed? Yes. Okay. And it is the one which they prescribed having a board, and the board now is in place and functional. Perfect. It did one other important role to that act gave us powers to recruit. What about drugs? The drugs are the, 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 the common drugs. Are still under no, no, we gave you power to buy drugs. Yes, the super specialized what, eh? drugs. We gave you the power. Yes, now the only power you did not give mm -hmm. is for us to look for money and utilize uh, and, uh, and spend that on your own no, way. No, 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 no. I'm looking for money for capital development. We have been looking for this home. Chair, since let's go to the budget. No, no, let us deal with the budget, yes, Dr. Yeah. Mangano. Yes. Those, so one, now, those one will be your challenges, you put it to us. Don't, you don't invite us today. Because yes. we have a lawyer here. Yes. <laughs> Which lawyer but this is like a, the summary of the positions we're trying to, to get no, no, on Give board. us evidence. Yes, of the adverts. That you tried yes. and you failed. Yes, that is what we are going to, 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 get, to get. Where is it? Communications to public service, health service commission. Yes, we want to know. Chair, sure, it, it should also be related to your planned outputs during yeah. appropriation. Exactly, that's what you yeah. are saying. Maybe where is the law? In your MPS, yes. your recruitment plan. Yes. That uh, was the basis for this appropriation. It was, it, it was in the plan. Yes, that's what you need to look at. Yes. Yes. Is now, he, accounting officer, why members are very eager yes. that we need this evidence? Yes. You came here for money. Yes. And the money was what? Given. Yes. So we must see evidence that you did what you are supposed to do. That one we shall produce. Ah, ah. That one we're not going to jump. Yes. Well, even if you have a lawyer this side, we want evidence that you really did what is supposed to do. Our leader of the Human Resources uh, Department who has been dealing with this resigned two weeks ago. He to join. never resigned, or he never resigned with our files. No, that is what I'm trying to attend. No, he can go out. Yes. You go and look for it. Yes. Yes. So that one now we go. Yes. This one was still waiting, waiting for evidence. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. but, uh, so the, 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 that one is due to unfilled positions. Due to, uh, now the next issue was the, it also included a total of, 100, uh, of 11, 11 million yes, shillings for KCC local tax. Chairman, that mm -hmm. bounced back. Be before we go to KCC, yes. uh, let me take you to page 13. Page 13 is your statement of appropriation. Uh, page 13. <coughs> and, uh, that issue of, uh, of the amount being attributed to, to the staff that were not recruited, uh, I would relate it to Employee costs. You're right. Uh, now, the employee costs is uh, your actual was 5.5 .5 billion. 5 .5 Are we together? Yes. Now, you, you turn to page. Uh, but even there, Michael, mm. 5.5. 5. What was the warrant? Look at the warrant. The warrant was 6. 6.4. 6.4. Now, it means the employment costs. The difference is between to be go there 
6.4 minus 5.8. Such a from my accounting officer. This uh, figure was uh, wrongly captured in the accounts. The rightful amount is, uh, is uh, 6.045. Hmm. But for us, we're seeing 6.49 because what? How could they warrant? How, how can we know that? Warrant more than the budget? There's a mistake here. The rightful amount is supposed to be 6.04. No, but which signature is this? Matter of which signature is this? This is not signed. This is signed. Yes, please. It is signed, but we, are reali we realized it later on. You realized what? And, and Mr. Chairman, how come the, the total, total expenditure is correct? Because this figure, the, the one which is meant for for goods and services was the one of included what? in the employment cost. The one of what? Instead of 8.077, eh? we, 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 we wrote 7.632. Yeah, of course that was another query we were saying. Mm. How can warrants mm. be more than the, be less the than uh, the actual? Later on we realized the mistake. But it didn't, it didn't change the final. But operation. even then, Mr. Chairman, uh, go ahead. <coughs> you, you, let's go to page, uh, page ten. Page ten. Your cash flow statement. Page ten. Page ten. You see the employee costs there. Employee cost. You have point five point five billion. Yes. Five point five one eight. Yes. So there's a difference of 6 to 8 million. I see. Between, between, between your statement of appropriation. The social benefit was not included in this Okay. It? Which is 8 million. Yes. Okay, let us add it. But let the let difference is 6 to 8 million. Uh, and the social benefit is what? See, it's how much? For us, we're looking for 65. <coughs> the social contribution is 79 million. You can go to page 21. No, but it's in the cash flow is 8, uh, Mike. Yeah, in fact, it captures it. 8.3. So if you add this, you're already again above 5.586. Uh, of doctor of mathematics, eh? And uh, when you even apply note 8 on page 21, On page 21, the social contributions become 79 million. 79. Oh, the other one is. Yes. Mr. Lawyer, today you are your client. This is just a But have you seen the difference? This is yes, 79 triple nine. I've seen it. Sir. This is 80, 360. Mm -hmm. This is 5.518. Mm -hmm. This is 5.586. Mm -hmm. So where do we go now from here? Mr. Chairman, we go by our apology. The patient will not leave the theater. <laughs> At this rate, the patient will not leave the theater. <laughs>
which is which. Because you see, Michael has raised up issues, and there are more. Because the next one, if you see, obviously domestically has paid. How much is it? 76? Those domestic areas, Chairman, mm. yeah. when you go to the statement of commitment mm. on the page here, you, yes, you, you realize that they actually paid 2.3 billion, and yet in their statement of appropriation. They paid only what they had budgeted for. And this 2.3 is also in the cash flow. It's in the cash flow. And the question comes, you said you diverted only 160. Are you getting it? Now that's where we're going. We want to assume you diverted what? 160. But from areas, there were 76. You have paid 2.3. It means you also diverted the money somewhere. Eh? Mr. Chairman, yeah. through my accounting officer, the, the domestic areas paid mm. is actually 2.3 billion, mm. Com composed of two figures, 591 for, for supplies, then the 1.7 billion supply is 5.0 500 591 million eh? mm -hmm. then the 1.7 billion 1.7 billion yes is the accountable <coughs> advance we got from finance over and above our performance so this money had to be chopped off from what we collected at source so this was accountable advance for which year for the previous year? For, for the previous year. You are not paid it? We are not paid it. Mm -hmm. Finance gave us more money than what we collected for that year, 17 18. This was the expected NTR? Yes. So 1.7 billion. But of course it means you got money, you can, even if it's accountable advance, mm -hmm. you spent it. Instead of having areas for goods and services, you had it as an advance. I don't know if you're getting. If they supplied you some goods of 1.7, there would have been two. Either you would not have paid, then you have areas of goods and services of 1.7. But because you had got an account of advance, you used it to pay, so that you have paid for goods and services. Huh? I'm getting it. But the royal government is still demanding. Either way, it's an area. Yeah, it is an area. That's why we are saying. So if we look at the accountable device advance. We recognize it, Mr. Chairman, as a payable. Mm. And uh, we expected, according to the approved budget, we expected to have collected this money. But we found ourselves unable, uh, based on what the accounting officers explained, saying that we don't have enough space, so we couldn't generate money to the extent of our budget. But finance gives us money on a quarterly basis, advances us money on a quarterly basis. And at the end of the year, we realized that finance had given us more money than what we collected. And we had to pay it in this year and then. Why didn't you budget for it that money? It was budgeted. Hmm? It was budgeted. No, you look at your statement of appropriation. It was budgeted, but. You look at we that statement. You budgeted for 76, even in your budgeted revised consideration. No, 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 no. You, you look there. You look no, 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 you look at the page audience. 13. But the, the, the domestic ones, eh? we don't budget them, Mr. Chairman. Mm, you do. If you go to pay uh, 34, Thir even 13. You have budgeted for it. You are saying mm. we received a deposit of 1.7 which you should have paid, but you never what? Paid. But you got the money and spent it on items which had been appropriated. Yes. I'm getting it. Implying that we had budgeted for it. Yes. You had budgeted for the items you appropriated on last, that yes. financial year. Yes. So it means 
if you never got that, that money, it means the following year you should budget that was supposed to pay a mm. debt of deposit Absolutely. of 1.73. Yeah. But the, 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 the complication, Mr. Chairman, is we have a budget ceiling. If uh, our ah, budget so now you are hiding. No, we mm. are not hiding. No, <coughs> because you don't want to pass <coughs> your budget, mm. Eh? Mm. you hide. It is not true. Because the budget, the ceiling for that uh, item or for that budget line is six billion. In fact, the and it is the one which is appearing. The, the ceiling for that budget line item eh, <coughs> of uh, NTR is six billion. So, in, in fact, we are, I understood that. No, but uh, 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 do you have appropriation in aid? Yeah, we have it. it is At the that NTR. time, it, it, it was NTR. there. Now they have changed it from the other side. The manner which they had. We, we are dealing with that time. Yes. Yes. Th that time they had uh, appropriated. Accounting officer, you face me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that time we had uh, they had appropriated as uh, 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 under NTR six billion. But unfortunately, we did not what uh, hit it. But for the the Minister of Finance had advanced us up to yes up to that money. So. When it came to next year, they, they kept recovering it until for them they had recovered all, all, all the, the, the money that they had. No problem. Yes. What happened? They yes. gave you a budget of NTR of six billion. Yes. It's on that basis that you spent. Yes. And they advanced your money. Yes. The argument were raising are saying now you have somebody's debt. Yes. You should budget for it. One of thing did a mistake was saying, you had a debt, have you got us? Yes. So you have somebody's debt, mm. should have been a budget mm. that this is NTR to be what? Paid, which you have used on goods and services of the previous. Still, sorry. Um, the way this thing is handled, the advances keep on coming. That's where we're going now. But we, we don't budget for the areas for the domestic areas incurred <coughs> as a result of those advances. You know why we are saying that? Mm -hmm. It has an implication on your budgeting. True. Do you know why? They release six billion, mm -hmm. but they knock off one point seven. Mm -hmm. In short, you have got four point what three. Mm -hmm. That goes on again. You don't collect. It goes on increasing until the day you will get the to pass the what <coughs> the NTR they have given you. I hope you are getting it. Yeah, so this one is having a big implication on your budget because your budget was, see, you wanted 18.1 billion, no, 18.64 billion for employment costs, for goods and services, for consumer and the 76 million. 76 million. In fact, but, uh, there was even no warrant for domestic areas. The way we see to you, we never got a warrant. There was no warrant. So I am even and wondering... Even if you worried, you never got a warrant. Yes. The warrant was got for the Matthew, 76... Show us. For the 76... Show us, show us. For it's the 76... Even if the amended one is here, I, w I want to assure you. <laughs> for the 76, ah, you got the warrant. <laughs> Where is the warrant? Where is the warrant? In fact, if you put 76 here... <coughs> the total of my... The Mr. Chairman, let me take you back <laughs> to your observation. Basing <laughs> on what you have observed, Mr. Chairman, we are requesting that it comes up as your recommendation. No, no, that one, that one we're going to deal with it. Before we read for recommendations, sir, let me tell you, we were trying to be on order paper on Thursday to deal with the health what? Sector. One of them is that the Heart Institute needs specialized sundries, and their budget is this, and we're giving them this. It's unfair. Mm. Are you getting it? Mm. Two, but we're saying that these guys are spending without authority, mm. and we're going to show you. So before we reach saying you with authority, we're going to hold you, even if we say that these are your challenges. Mm. Now, where is the warrant for 76? When we are. Uh, mm. 
You cannot do your class as they say. On page 13, eh? it was omitted, but it is supposed to be there. The 76. No, the 76. You see, Dr. Mato, this was your book. You have said there was a mistake. You have given us this, which is unsigned. Hmm? Amended one. Again, it's also what? Missing. Maybe you want to look at it again. <coughs> <coughs> so now, what do you expect the committee to do? In fact, if you added on that warrant, mm. this figure would tremendously change. What do you want us to do? And that's why accounting officer, we want your help. <coughs> the 76 is even missing on the amended. So what do we do? Anyway. Yes. Dr. Yeah, Dr. Dr. Matu. The, the father you challenge. know where we are doing these tabulations from the other place of ours, <coughs> where we land this accounting. Why don't you just request to go and realign this well? Because even your amended one yes. and this one, yeah. we are now asking what Quisha was teaching us how to go for. Yeah? Right. Just request to right. go and right. remember. Yeah. But Chair, on, uh, on that page 34, Mm, and that's why we must go. I want us to look at peg 34 and peg 14. Okay, peg 34. <coughs> because we're answering areas and we're finishing in. That's peg 34, Chairman. Mm. Under goods and services consumed. Yes, I'm there, Michael. Uh, are we together? Mm. Accounting officer, do you have this document? I can lend you. I, I want you to open page, uh, I mean, uh, section 21. Section 21. Budget execution. Uh -huh. 21 2. Your lawyer has kept quiet. A vote shall not take any credit from any local or body unless it has no unpaid domestic arrears from a date in a previous financial year and it has the capacity to pay the expenditure from the approved estimates as appropriated by Parliament for that financial year. Now, you see you had the outstanding commitment of 1.1 billion. You paid 591. I want to know where you go to authority in line with section 21 to accumulate further areas of 894. I don't know how because the issue is uh, we are here uh, the issue of maybe such a man, it is very unfortunate when you are in this type of business because we are primarily saving. We have lives. no problem lives. That's why we are going to say and we fund ourselves with a budget which is insufficient. That's why this commitment. You know why I asked that question? You, you go to page 13. Because here I see an accumulation of uh, areas for goods and services, yet on page 13, I see that you even spent more money than the warrants on goods and services. Uh, Mr. Chairman. So on page 13. Yes. Uh, in that other one, words. That one we have, we have explained it. Is okay, that's notwithstanding. Yes. Yeah. Your request for goods and services was 8.9 billion. Mm. You are provided. What do we take? What's the total of the warrants on goods and services? It is 8.077. Now, is the difference of 8. Point, uh, between 8.06 and 8.9 is the difference what was accumulated in the stock of areas? The difference between what? 
between what you consumed and what you, you budgeted? Part of it didn't come. Pardon? Part of, the, part no, no. of it didn't come. The, it was not the argument is, is mm -hmm. let's say you wanted one billion yes. for goods and services. They gave you 900 million. The difference would be 100 million. Mm -hmm. But now, I see the areas you accumulated should have been an equivalent of what they did give you. That is what would make sense. Yes. I, 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 I take uh, honorable's what uh, comment is uh, very seriously and uh, the issue is uh, actually in this health sector and some of these areas we serve you can't have a natural <laughs> budget. No, you can't have a budget which is actually. You can't have a natural budget. A budget means ex estimated income Station, and estimate, expenditure. Yes. Expenditure. And the but with a budget of government of Uganda, even yours, yes. if you want to adjust it upward, yes. you go back. Okay, that is the procedure. I'm getting it. Yes. You go back. That's what Michael is raising. He said, for you to spend more than what was budgeted, yes. you would have got authority. Are we getting it together? Yes. So and that's where we're going to leave it right. We say that as far as we're concerned, your difference between expected revenue yes. is 19.573 minus 18.69. So your difference was 930 million. Yes. Okay? Yes. But from page 34, yes. you incurred additional areas. Are you getting it? Yes. Second last column. Yes. Of 1.6155 billion, it meant you went above the budget. Yes. So we want you to get authority for spending beyond the budget. 